Hello, this is Mad Dodge Productions. I am the Mad Libertarian. Uh, before we get started here, I want to remind you guys, um, on my uh, YouTube homepage, there is a Patreon link. There's also a PayPal link if you'd like to support the channel in any way. Right now, I'm trying to get about $127 together for a um, whole new set of RAM for my PC. That would make rendering videos a whole lot easier and more efficient and it will help with the live streams and being able to have multiple screens open you know what ram does now that being said let's get to the article we're going to read today bizarre and hilarious photos that sum up all 50 states um it opens up here the thing about the united states is it's not a monolith every region has something that makes it unique for instance you can't mistake the south for the west coast or even the east coast and when it comes to to states, well, it's a whole other ball game. That's why Mandatory, who put out this article, decided to find the one picture that perfectly sums up each and every state. Well, this could be funny or this could be sad. They're going to start with Alabama. Let's see what they got. The Tuscaloosa Driver's License Office will be closed Monday, January 17th in, obser in observance of Robert E. Lee and MLK Jr.'s birthday. Okay, the irony of celebrating both the civil rights leader and the Confederate general's birthdays together is just so head-scratchingly astounding, I can't even begin to comprehend. <sighs> I don't know, do I even need to comment on that? First off, Robert E. Lee, his family did own slaves. He was in favor of releasing them, so in a way, in the 1800s at that time, he would have been somewhat of a civil rights leader as well in the South. He argued in favor of freeing the slaves. And so, yeah, I can kind of see um, them celebrating both on the same day. And also, um, they both had the same birthday, you stupid bastards. And, like, really, that's what you pick out of Alabama? You couldn't have found anything better? You go right for the Civil War. <sighs> then again, that's Alabama for you, they say. Fuck off. See? See what I mean? And the South in general. Well, let's just fucking hate on the South in its entirety. That's fucking great. It's the inconsistencies that are the spice of Southern life. And the food. There's that, too. I mean, have you had Southern food? Everything's just amazing and gourmet. It might be dripping with diabetes, but totally worth it. I don't know if they're trying to be funny here I guess I did kind of laugh a little but I mean come on how can conceit and like not even conceited how just I don't know plain rude let's let's move on Alaska yeah okay <laughs> what the fuck are those guys wearing you have to hand it to Alaska. No other state is as rugged, as outdoorsy, as jaw-dropping nuts as the ice, icy state. Yeah, well, negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit and they're wearing that shit. I wouldn't be wearing that in 110 degree weather, dudes. Put the thing away. Whatever. I've never been myself, but whenever I close my eyes and think about Alaskans, I think about people who hunt, who hunt and trap with one hand while building log cabins with the other. Yeah, I'm sure you do. I don't know, they could have found a picture for Alaska of, I don't know, the wilderness and a moose or maybe some oil fields. That would have been fucking nice. I don't know what they're doing. We'll move on here. In a we are on the next page. Oh, they still have something about Alaska here. Also, I hear they have amazing salmon. Still don't want to go, though. Way too cold for my blood. Alright. Fair enough. It gets pretty fucking cold up there. Um, the next state they go to is Arizona. Extreme fire danger. Don't even fart in the forest. Okay, alright. Oh, uh, let's read what they got here first. Only you can prevent forest fires, am I right? Also, this right here is the true essence of Arizona spirit. Courage, nay, defiance in the face of adversity. I, the only comment I have on this is, Arizona has forests, 
MC, why didn't you fucking tell me? You guys have trees there? Fuck, that's way better than Nevada, man. No shit. At least you could hide in the shade when it's fucking hot as hell out. Who else but an Arizonian would make a joke about farting in the face of fire? I mean, Arizona is so dry, if you open your mouth, the heat would suck your saliva out. <laughs> when you think of dry, dusty plains with tumbleweeds rolling across it, you're thinking about Arizona. No, once again, Nevada or maybe New Mexico. Not necessarily Arizona. It's heart-achingly beautiful and proud, but the people are what makes Arizona great. I don't know. There's people there like, uh, I don't know, John McCain, MC, who wants to just kill everybody. I mean, he's teaming up with the Nazi penguins and shit. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if Arizona is full of uh, great people. I'm just kidding, MC. I know, I know. You're not working with the penguins yet. All right, the next picture they got here. That looks like a good time right there. Am I right, guys? Come on. Arkansas. Yeah. But once again, though, I just got to say, I think this is going to be a reoccurring theme here. Every southern state's going to have a redneck-ass picture. All right. I can almost guarantee it. Um, enjoying the relaxing benefits of a bubbling spa and brew while also shooting your dinner for later, all in one place. Yeah, you're being condescending there. I say, that looks, looks like a fucking great Friday night. Like, no shit. Chill with a fucking 12-pack of beer in your fucking hot tub. You got your gun right there on your fucking deck. You have some fucking deer or something going across your empty field on your own private property that you can shoot. Skin, fucking gut, and eat. Fuck yeah. American dream right there, am I right? Fucking A. It's the perfect solution to that old should I kill things or should I relax dilemma. And it's only possible in beautiful Arkansas. I think it's possible in other places. But I mean, yeah. Should you kill things or should you just chill in your hot tub? And if you can do both, what's wrong with that? Just saying. Once again, sounds like a great Friday night. Also, note the glass of beer on the side of the jacuzzi. No fancy glass necessary, straight from the bottle, just like God intended it. Damn fucking right, you fucking assholes and your fancy glasses and shit. Drink beer from a can. Fucking drink your whiskey straight out the bottle with a curly straw if you want, for all I fucking care. God damn it. Anyway. California is next. And look at these guys. Real winners here, aren't they? Yeah. God says homosexuality is... And he stole the S. Oh, that's so fucking brilliant. You know, great comedy there. I'm sure 40 Ounce couldn't have done a better comedian, fucking comedy job. Give me a fucking break. And this is the one you choose for California? Really? No, you don't choose the Golden Gate Bridge, you don't choose the Hollywood sign, you don't choose a picture of L.A. covered in smog. No, no, you fucking brilliant assholes, choose this. This could be out of any state with a college campus and assholes that want to actually steal, you know, because they had to climb up there and steal the ass. Just saying. Destruction of private property. And um, arresting this dude over here for uh, on the left for uh, wearing those gauges. You know what that does to your fucking ear when you take them out when you're old? You look like a fucking weirdo. Or the old ladies can just fucking loop a finger up in your fucking ear hole that you made when you were 18. And fucking drag you by it. You didn't think ahead about that, did you? You're going to be in a nursing home one day, buddy. All right. Let's see what they say. Love is love is love. Even God said so. So how can you argue with that? God said that? Did God say anything ever, really? Wasn't the Bible written by men? I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. That's not the argument here. California is an internal optimist, and for good reason. 
after all, they have really high taxes, uh, gang violence, gun crime. Oh, and the civilians can't buy a gun. Oh, wait, they're not saying any of that. Oh, they're talking about waffles and earthquakes, tsunamis, and wildfires. When was the last tsunami that hit California? I mean, I know on the Oregon coast we have tsunami zones, you know, high areas of the coast to go, just in case. I can't remember the last time a tsunami um, hit Oregon or California's coast. Just saying, really? Alright, whatever. Also, there's drought. Did we mention that? Did you mention the crime? Oh, and the fact that they legalized giving AIDS to people. No, you didn't mention that? My bad. California always seems poised on the brink of, of environmental disaster, which is why Californians squeeze the best of life from everything, including AIDS and Charlie Sheen's great tiger blood. Squeeze that tiger blood for all you got, motherfuckers. God damn it. Here we go the next Sun's up, surf's up, love your neighbor, and no worries. That's the California way, and that's why Californians tend to be so chill. Yeah, they tend to be chill unless they're driving down the highway like a madman riding your fucking bumper, or, you know, they're robbing you, or you stop at the wrong stop sign in freaking the wrong part of L.A., or San Francisco, or Sacramento. The list goes on. I don't necessarily think of Californians as chill. I think of them more as uptight, rude assholes. Not counting you 40, of course. But counting my aunt, she is an asshole. And it's alright, she's family. She's allowed to be an asshole. But she is an asshole. And she was born and raised in California. Just saying, the results don't lie. Californians are not the most chill. Also, weed is legal now, so there's that. And there's all the mountains and beaches and such. So yeah, Cali is a beautiful place. Then why didn't you use Cali's beauty for your picture to encompass what you think of when it comes to the state of California? Isn't that the exercise we're doing here? Or are we just choosing the most white trash stupid fucking picture from each state? Fucking damn. Colorado. Well, did they just rip that fucker out of the ground and they're posing? What? I'm confused. That's not big enough to harvest. Why are you just holding this marijuana plant and posing? Whatever. Moving on. Sure, there's a lot more to Colorado than the legalization of the hippie lettuce. I've never heard it called that. That's actually pretty good. But you can get snow anywhere. Yeah, but can you get blow? Is cocaine everywhere? Asking for a friend. <laughs> what you can't get, however, are people so happy, so goddamn pleased with themselves. But then, Colorado is one of those happy-go-lucky states. Yeah, only because they now have legal marijuana and they have a bunch of ski resorts everywhere. You'd be pretty fucking happy, too, after a couple fucking bowls through your bong and you're out snowboarding in the fucking um, Rocky Mountains. You'd be pretty fucking happy, fucking happy too. Or on a snowmobile. That's what I would choose. A snowmobile. People have no option but to be. After all, Colorado is the land of mountains, snow, and rugged living. You can be outdoorsy as you want and cool with your neighbors. And that's the Colorado way. Also, there's Aspen. You could ski and snowboard anywhere, but when you do it in Aspen, you're doing it in style. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, Colorado is a land of mountains, snow, and rugged living. There's also a giant crystal meth problem. There's some Mexican mafia up in there. Um, I don't know if Colorado's the best state. To be honest, I've never been there. But 
they do point out the point I made just a few minutes ago. I mean, you'd be happy too if you could ski or snowboard or um, use your fucking snowmobile anywhere after eating a couple edibles and smoking fucking through your bong. Yeah, I'm sure they are happy in Colorado. I'm sure the happiness index has raised quite significantly since they legalized marijuana. Hint, hint, federal government. Do the same. Connecticut. Connecticut welcomes you. Birthplace of George W. Bush. We apologize. <laughs> okay. I, I think this is honestly the first good picture they found. Because I can't think of anything else in Connecticut that is worthy of encompassing the whole state as well as this picture. Bravo, you guys win this time. On the other hand, Kevin Bacon, Kate Bosworth, and Paul Giamatti were also born in this state. So perhaps it all evens out in the end. No, no, none of them were president during 9-11 who let a lot of Saudis leave especially members of Osama bin Laden's family. Um, what else did George Bush do? Um, let's see, his vice president shot his friend in the face. I mean, that's just a small little highlight. Um, the Iraq War? The Iraq War. Yeah. Yeah. Connecticut, we blame you now. Connecticut is the richest state in the Union. What? Connecticut is the richest state in the Union. Millionaires and billionaires routinely swan about in their Teslas. You know, because it's too gotchy to actually flaunt the wealth and retire to their massive estates for some much-needed R&R. I did not know Connecticut was the richest state in the Union. I would like to fact-check that. Memes. When you watch this video, comment. Uh, let me know. You live in Massachusetts. It's pretty close to Connecticut. You should know. Oh, and it's famously liberal. Hence the reason why there's all that apologizing for George W. W. He was the President of the United States. You could write George W. Bush. Alright? Not W. Fuck. Damn. W? Really? Really? To call Connecticut liberal is to call the sky blue, or to say that a Sharpie's chin hairs are luxurious and magnificent. Oh, and their Yankee fair is truly excellent. Excellent. Well, I mean, I would say to call Connecticut liberal is to call Hillary Clinton a lizard person. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing, right? It's, it's a fact. Kind of like the Queen of England eats babies to stay young. I mean, we just know this. We can't oust them or kill them because they're powerful women and that would, you know, promote the patriarchy. And we, we can't do that, can we? All right, next state. <laughs> All joking aside. Delaware. And oh my God, is Delaware like the gayest state in the Union? What the fuck? Flag on the play. Indecent exposure. I agree. And those are American flags going up their ass cracks. I have nothing to say about that picture, and neither do they. Moving on to Florida. Um. Um. Gator Rabbit? Rabbit Gator? Um. Oh! It's Bugs Gator! I got it. Okay. But you should untape him. I mean, at least let him bite you a little if you're gonna put those stupid fucking ears on a fucking alligator. You fucking kidding me? It's a gator. You're putting fake fucking bunny ears on it, Florida. No wonder. Never mind. <laughs> no, no, YouTube. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to mention a certain school in a certain state. Down in the Sunshine State, the Easter Bunny looks just a bit different. See you later, Easter Gator. Fuck off. That was lame. Did you get that shit from America's Funniest Home Videos in the 90s? That those Kinet those fucking Canadian guys that wrote for Bob Saget work for you guys now. I see what's going on here. But what else can you expect from the wackiest, most out of their state in the whole of the country? If anything strange, weird, or kooky happens in America, it happens in Florida. Yeah, like 
bump stock bands and 21 years old to buy a rifle and banning the AR-15 and clear see-through backpacks and bullies who bully a kid into snapping now getting millions of dollars and free plane trips across the country and guest spots on CNN and MSNBC and Fox News, ABC, CBS. Yeah, lots of funny shit happens in Florida, like hanging chads and the Florida Keys where it floods every year, but they don't care. They rebuild their mansions. Yeah, Florida. All right, done with that Florida rant. Maybe not. Basalts, herpes riddled monkeys, surfing manatees. I'm not sure those actually exist. If it exists, it exists in Florida. Must the heat and the salt water. Okay, basalts, zombie people. I remember that video. But, uh, herpes riddled monkeys. Who the fuck would know about that? Um, top of my head. Voice of one. Come on, man. If there's herpes riddled monkeys in Florida, you've had to stumble across that story. Come on. Tell me about the herpes riddled monkeys, dude. And is that how the AIDS epidemic started? <laughs> oh, fucking this shit. I, I thought this was going to be funnier than it is. Hopefully my comments are making it easier for you than it is for me. Georgia. What? Did you expect peaches or something other than taxidermy? Ha ha. Here we are again, folks. Here is another of the most redneck picture they could find from a southern state. Which I'd even mention with the fucking bunny gator, alright? I let that one slide, because who the fuck puts rabbit ears on a goddamn gator? That was a dumb old lady, like, that did that shit. That was fucking stupid. But this, this kind of looks like... The fucking, I don't know, it looks like a truck a serial killer would drive. I mean, you could probably put a dead body back there and blend it in with all that taxidermy, right? And I would like to know, did he buy that all those animals, you know, after the taxidermist already did his thing? Or did Homie kill those fuckers, alright? Because if he killed them, then Matt props, dude. Look at that shit. I mean, just bask in the glory that is that truck. You know what it's missing? It's missing a Confederate flag. And he's the flag of the Army of Northern Virginia flying right there next to all them dead animals. It'd work perfect. I mean, this one, this coon on the side, looks like it killed itself and just stuck there. Just ran right into the fucking side of the truck. I mean... He's got tails hanging off the fucking trailer hitch. And he's making whoever follows behind him stare at a fucking deer's ass. With a coon staring at it too. I mean, this is fucking genius. This is the best truck ever. Seriously. When this guy dies and his family's like, I don't want this fucker. Look me up, guys. Productions at gmail.com. Email me. I'll buy this fucking truck. <laughs> all right i'm gonna level with you here georgia is out there you can go from the big city to the countries of country in 45 minutes flat and hop from ball gowns to dirt bike riding or just do both if that strikes your fancy georgia is out there because it's well georgia and what they're not saying is a southern state because they have an intrinsic biased against the south and everything southern when it relates to culture when it relates to politics when it definitely relates to the war between the states well georgia and it's a proud representative of the good old south oh and it has hands down the best sweet tea anywhere although it does come with a side of diabetes the diabetes joke again you know, you're running that one into the ground, guys. You're burning it down like Sherman did Atlanta. You want to talk about a fucking Georgia joke? Do a little bit better. Fucking damn it. These fucking assholes. Alright. Hawaii. Now, 
at least there's lava there. I, I was just thinking, like, what are they going to do for Hawaii? It's got to either be a lava bed, a volcano erupting, or some hula girls looking hot. They went with, it looks like a bus that got fucking engulfed with lava. Well, it is Hawaii. You should uh, know the risk. Aloha means hello, goodbye, and what the hell is going on here? Well, at least you can get lied, or laid, I, I, fuck off. Okay. Idaho. Welcome to Idaho. Attractions, and it's blank. I doubt that's a real sign. There's, come on. There's got to be, like, the world's biggest potato ever grown, or come see the skinhead ranch. I mean, there's got to be something in fucking Idaho, all right? You know, crystal meth capital of the United States. There's got, there's a few attractions that you could write down for Idaho. Come on. Yeah, like they said, come on now. Idaho is the gem state, and they, and they, things like, what the fuck? Who wrote this? No, I'm sound, sounding like an idiot trying to read this shit. Idaho is the gem state. And they, things like, I think they're supposed to be they make or grow. Things like potatoes and, well, potatoes. Ha ha, good job Canadians from Bill fucking, or Bob Saget's fucking America's Funniest Home Videos. Um, yeah, write a proper sentence. I mean, really, what the Illinois. fuck? Okay, now, that says Chicago police on the side, it's an armored vehicle. My first thought, in Chicago, you have the highest restrictions upon firearms of any city other than maybe Washington, D.C., and or New York and L.A., now, if guns create the violence, and that's why you need to have restrictions upon the guns, and you have those restrictions, which you do, why are the streets so dangerous the police have an armored vehicle? This does not look like your friendly Andy Griffith police officer. This is an armored police vehicle parked out of the red light, not in an emergency emergency situation, not rushing to a fucking hostage situation, or a bomb, or an active shooter, or a mass shooting, etc., etc. No, this looks like a fucking patrol car. I doubt it is. I bet you they took this picture out of context, like all the rest. I get that. I just would like to point out, if gun laws stopped gun crime, why exactly do you need Exhibit A here? You wouldn't. The fact that you do proves that gun laws do not deter gun crime. And therefore, when you're debating about what to do about the crime aspect, leveling new regulations upon the civilian population that is not criminal in any way is stupid and it gets nothing done. Not to mention you're infringing upon our natural and or God-given right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And I would put the Second Amendment in the life and the liberty um, sections. To protect your liberty from the government and to protect your life from criminals. Who want to either harm you by stealing from you, assaulting you, kidnapping, raping, etc. Or just plain shoot you and take your shit. Come on. Stop trying to take our guns away, Illinois and Chicago and in fucking particular. And then, maybe, maybe, if we get the armed and polite society back in Illinois... You won't need that fucking piece of shit. Alright. Now to what they have to say. It's really short. They do things 
a little bit different in the prairie state. After all, they need to protect themselves down in the Windy City from disappointed Cubs fans. Yeah, baseball fans are the danger. No, no, no sir. Or ma'am. Or it, he, hammer, fucking whatever you're identifying as this minute. No, that's not what that is protecting them from. It's protecting them from the gang violence in relation to the drug war or anything else that's driven from gang activity. Illegal drugs, illegal prostitution, racketeering, what have you. I point out the drugs and the prostitution right offhand because they should both be legalized. And maybe regulated. We, we can argue about the regulations. Eh. I don't like new laws. Indiana. Oh my fucking god. Fuck off. I don't want to look at fucking Michael Moore's ass crack. Alright. Home of many plumbers. And the butt of many jokes. Indiana is always somehow just a little bit behind. Once again... Sounds like fucking America's Funniest Home Video jokes. Not very original and really cringy. Iowa. <laughs> Did they ride the cow? Is, is that what's going on? <laughs> Holy cow. Imagine being the pooper scooper on the end of that walk. Let's be real. Nobody's scooping up that cow's shit. But I mean, really... You just tie your cow up to the bike rack? What the fuck are you doing, Iowa? I and mean, it wasn't Indiana. It was Iowa. My bad. Indiana was up there, I think. Oh, Kansas. Have water. Need beer. Auntie M! Auntie M! Somehow, the Wizard of Oz would have been a little bit different if Dorothy had asked for a beer. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's be real. If a tornado wiped out my house, all right, and I lost everything I owned, I would need a beer. And if I had water, and my neighbor, who had somehow the beer survived his house being fucked up, and he had no water, but he had beer, that's not really going to help him from keeping from being dehydrated. And I had a shitload of water, enough to support me and my family for at least long enough to get supplies in because, you know, FEMA, what have you. I would totally trade water for beer in an instant. And when disasters like this happens, the barter system arises really rapidly. I can believe that happened in Kansas. I really can. Kentucky. Huh. Chick uns far sale bitis and growed ones. Okay, Kentucky's not necessarily a southern state, but it's right there on the cusp and once again this looks like even a trailer park behind them. And they can obvi obviously can't spell correctly, or it was a joke. It could be a joke. Chick uns come on. They even put a little apostrophe thing up there. Chickens. Far sale. It's kind of funny. Maybe an inside joke. Alright. I'm just tired of anything or even remotely a red state. Which I'm not a conservative. You guys know that. But anything even remotely a red state is redneck and backwards and horrible. And that's the pictures they're choosing for those areas of the country. And I think that's really telling. Points for selection and variety. Deductions for spelling, grammar, and just about everything else. Spelling and grammar, what's everything else? Oh. Oh. It's their houses behind the, behind the sign, right? They're poor white trash, is what you're insinuating, right? And they can't spell because they're idiots, right? You guys, you're trying to make jokes, but you're coming across really pretentious and snobby. And we're at halfway through here. It's probably already a 20 minute video plus. 
And I'm getting really irritable with you fucking assholes. And your snotty, snarky, fucking shitty jokes. Now, if they were funny and snarky, that's fine. If they're funny and biased or even racist, I don't care. But you're not being funny, cunt. That sign, chickens for sale, that is funnier than your stupid fucking deductions for spelling, grammar, and just about everything else. Ha ha, we're better than you as I'm staring down my nose. Now you know why Southerners hate carpetbaggers, and they hate fucking the uptight, uppity fucking Northeast. Seriously, you're seeing it. State I was born in Louisiana. All right, we got. It looks like maybe uh, somewhere in New Orleans. Um, huge ass beers to go. Fuck it, eh? Uh, that's that's good for my home state. Huge ass beers to go. How huge are the beers? I would like to know. You got behind there. You got the pirate curse of the blacksmith, John Lafayette. Yeah, I think this might be in the French Quarter. I mean, yeah, huge-ass beers ago are great and everything, but who doesn't want to know more about the pirates they seem to have there? Yeah, okay. It fell flat. It wasn't even funny. Um, Maine. Well. Ah. Uh, hmm. You're drinking Bud Light. You're on some ice in a freaking body of water. Um, you must be suicidal. You couldn't afford anything better than Bud Light. And you're just staring at that water like you want to jump in. I say don't do it, buddy. I know it's rough. Maine, you know, with the it clown and all that other crazy shit like the pet cemeteries that you guys have up there. You know, all that shit that the great biographer Stephen King has told us about Maine. I get why why you might want, you know, to not deal with that anymore. But I say don't do it. I say finish the shitty beer because even a shitty beer is a beer. And then get the fuck off the ice and start brewing your own beer, buddy. That's what you need to do. And just stay away from bodies of water, because it really looks like you just want to jump in and freeze to death and or drown. I guess maybe Maine does that to people. I'm not sure. <laughs> Maine, where every man is an island of ice with beer. Yeah, but like I just said, shitty beer. And I don't know if he's... I think, you know, a man is an island. It's something like men are closed off and more, you know, aloof. They look from the outside in. A, a, a man is an island. I don't think that metaphor works here. I think he wants to be a mermaid. Like, he wants to go to fucking, you know, to the, to the depths of the water, man. He, he's done. He's had it with that damn clown in that damn state. With that psycho kid and the fucking syringe from Pet Cemetery, the crazy fucking cats coming back to life. I mean, he's just tired of it. And the shitty beer, I think, is what's pushing him over the edge. I think he needs to calm down, rethink it, and get some good beer, and everything will be fine. Maryland. <laughs> Got crabs? Crabby Dicks, Maryland and Delaware. Oh, you didn't, you guys didn't think that fucking bumper sticker through. Um, or you did, and uh, you guys have a really funny sense of humor in Maryland. Um, caught crabs. I hope she don't. <laughs> or you caught the crabs from that stripper you got a lap dance from last week. No. <laughs> If you don't have crabs, you will, after spending time at Krabby Dicks. And also, oh, and I also here. They have a bit of seafood to offer too. Yeah, you can have all the tuna you want at Krabby Dicks. You walk out with the crabs though. I don't know. Here you go, memes of destruction. Massachusetts. 
Wicked Storm Common. St it's not. Okay, memes. Your guys' signs don't really spell storm like that, right? I uh, just for real. Another comment in the comment section. Just let me know. Is that an accurate depiction of your home state, sir? Let's go to Donkeys down the Cape and then head out for a Ripa. Translation, we're going to Dunkin' Donuts and then a party to avoid the storm. Let's go to Donkeys down the Cape and then head out for a Ripa. That, does that really mean you're going to Dunkin' Donuts and then a party? I'm so confused. What the fuck, Mass... Isn't Harvard in Massachusetts? How the fuck do you guys talk like that? Fuck. Here we go. Well, we follow Memes' home state with the Ogres, Michigan. <laughs> Matter of fact, is that the Ogre? I don't know. That could be the Ogre right there. We're seeing from behind. We don't know. He's always in the chair. We're not sure how uh, wide he is. We're, this could be the ogre, people. Severe weather alert. Frozen over in Hell, Michigan. Negative three. Damn. Sunny sky, though. I mean, it looks, it looks nice. Where you can basically go through all four seasons in about four weeks. Yeah, there are great lakes. But more weather mood swings than a menopausal mother nature. I don't know. I think Oregon could uh, give Michigan a run for its money when it comes to a bipolar mother nature. But, uh, Ogre, can you either confirm or deny that that is you? Just wondering. Please write in the comment section, And we sir. move on to Minnesota, and suddenly, suddenly... Minnesota's looking all right. Not too bad. Although, they have those warm-ass boots on to protect their feet, but uh, nothing else. And they only have one beer around them. I figured they would have to have more beer if they're drunk enough to not be freezing those tits off. But hey, who am I to complain here? Especially the one in the middle. Or the far left. Well, they're all right. <laughs> they're there, sunglass covered. Eyes are up there, guys. Talk about making snow angels. Yeah, well, if I wasn't married, I might make a snow angel with a couple or all of them. <laughs> Here, see, Mississippi. And we're back to the most redneck fucking picture they could find. A fat ass cooking some fucking dank looking barbecue. Man, it, they keep doing it over and over again. Mississippi, known as the Magnolia State. You can find people like this delicate flower, ready to smoke and char anything you can cover with barbecue sauce. Hide the small family pets. So, he's so fat, he's going to eat your cat? I mean, really. I'm not even going to comment. You know what? I guess it's better than what I thought they were going to do. I thought they were going to show something with a Confederate flag on it for Mississippi. They didn't do that, so. Alright. Missouri. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Missouri, those kids have the coolest school bus in the entire country, I would have to say. The Show Me State will show you how to make an entrance at the next elementary school field day. Practical question, though. How do kids make it up to the door? Uh, well, so, what you do is they pull up to the bus stop, right? And then the parents just pick the kid up and just throw him through the fucking door. Alright, they have some padding in there that they land on, or maybe even a Velcro divider between the bus driver and the entrance, so the kids just fucking stick to it. Alright, and then the bus driver rips them off there and throws them back into a seat. And then when they get to the school, it's really cool, it's really efficient. 
they open up that emergency exit door and those fucking inflatable slides from the airplanes pops out the back and they just slide right down in the school the kids fucking love it it's great all right montana fuck that thing's bigger than the car huh <laughs> don't make dinner ma we got a surprise for you <laughs> um all right i mean that's pretty funny i guess yeah there's moose in montana or what yeah that's a moose yeah i would think though that it would uh well maybe those boards are helping keep in the fucking flimsy ass roof of that car from caving in they were smart to put those there not their first fucking moose hunt good job fellas nebraska what the surf's up dude what did you expect from the corn husker state um i expect you not to fucking sled on a pile of corn I mean, you know you are wearing shorts. If you fall the wrong way, that's all I'm going to say. All right, kid? You need to think this shit through. Not not the best idea right there. And we're going to move we're on to Nevada. Huh, Nevada. Liquor legal, 24 hours. Gambling legal, 24 hours. Prostitution's legal, 24 hours. Lobsters, not legal. Lobsters? I don't know. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Unless you're a lobster. Get that crazy crap out of here, you heathens. You hellbound heathens. Worse than poison in the well, you fucking lobster. It's because it's they're red. Lobsters are fucking communist plants. They're working with the penguins. Nevada is on to something. At least Nevada is protecting themselves. From the dirty commie lobsters and those fucking Nazi penguins. Good job, Nevada. New Hampshire. White only. Well. That's interesting. Let's be optimistic here and say they mean only white paint. Or white pants after Labor Day. Yes, let's go with that. Okay, wait a minute. July 26, 1929. That's when that sign was made. Alright? Put it into context. That's when that sign was made. And now, that's interesting. Because we're not, New Hampshire is not in the quote-unquote segregated south of that time. So what did they mean by white only? Was it maybe a private club where only whites were allowed for the upper echelons of society? That is a northeast area. Lots of money. Lots of money. Just saying. Interesting. On to Jersey. Somehow that fits. I don't know. Maybe my hope for Jersey fell after seeing... 10 minutes of one episode of Jersey Shore and then never watching it again because it's total garbage and I could feel my IQ dropping within that 10 minutes. But that looks like it fits Jersey. The only thing good that ever came out in New Jersey was Kevin Smith. Just saying. New Jersey. Yes, it's stereotypical to use a bunch of bros that look like they rolled around Cheeto dust. Oh, is that a Trump joke? The Cheeto dust? I don't know. But would you expect anything less from the place that spurred Jersey Shore? Even they brought up Jersey Shore. Yeah, see, yeah. They went with the low-hanging fruit on this one. They really did. New Jersey is known for its brash talk, its cannolis, and its sheer in-your-face attitude. Jersey folk <laughs> tell it like it is, and they do so with panache, flair, and a liberal side of hairspray. Well, I'm going bald, so even if I lived in Jersey, I wouldn't be using hairspray. But, well, unless it's for a potato gun. But anyway, I digress. Um, They use three idiots, and those idiots probably don't even live in Jersey. I mean, 
They're just pulling these pictures out and using whatever stereotype, as they said. Yes, it's stereotypical. They've done that with the entirety of the southern states so far as well. They're just going for the low-hanging fruit here, guys. New Mexico. Exclusive. Low-rider parking. Two-hour limit. Violator will be towed. Okay. If it doesn't scrape the pavement, it's not a low-rider. It's just another car with rims. Why is that a New Mexico thing? Maybe I'm not into the New Mexico culture, but I didn't know that was a big thing. If I was going to get a picture of New Mexico to show the state, I would um, either get a picture of Santa Fe, or I would uh, maybe use a picture of Billy the Kid's tomb, or something of that nature. Something of the outlaw of Wild West that spawned the state of New Mexico. You know, I... I'm not getting the low rider thing. And they just repeat it. If it doesn't scrape the pavement, it's not a low rider. It's just another car with rims. I, I don't know. I think they really missed an opportunity to showcase something good about New Mexico. And it's not even funny. At least the Jersey guys, that's kind of funny. Well, we're on to New York. And hello. Um, Don't know how YouTube will feel about that. We're going down. <laughs> not that way, guys. Keep your fucking mind out of the gutter, Jensen. Cut it out. Stop, Jensen. I'm not going to scroll back up. Alright? Are you sure it's the Big Apple and not the Big Melons? Also worthy of note, the complete indifference of the police officers directly behind her. Gotta love New York City, where you can't own a gun and they'll arrest you for spitting on the street. But by God, rub paint on your boobs and you can walk around just fine. I added that last bit, but I think it is relevant. What else can you expect from the Big Apple? The city of a thousand dreams and a thousand entrepreneurs and a thousand or two thousand or ten thousand homeless people in every alley. And anyway, New York represents America's hustle. It's sheer, indomitable spirit. Fair enough, I guess, kind of also represents America's greed, America's envy, the fact that we don't have the best stuff quite, you know, anymore, the fact that we used to have the tallest uh, skyscraper and now we don't. Anyway, not to be a downer, this has been a long fucking video, I didn't think it'd be this long at all, doing this in the middle of the night, it just hit 5 a.m., fuck, but we're, we're getting close to that. New York is a city where dreams come true, and if your dream is to walk around in body paint and nothing else, then there's space in New York for you. Yeah, well, you know, that's fair, obviously. You saw it for the couple seconds I left it up. I'm not going to go back up. I'm trying not to age restrict this. But um, just so you guys know, in Oregon, um, in Portland and Eugene both, they have a naked bike race every single year. And Oregon is also a topless state. A woman could drive down the road um, topless, just like a man can. She can't go into stores topless, you know, like a man can't go in a store without a shirt either. But she can drive topless. Now, I'm not one for laws, but it kind of seems like that might be distracting to other drivers, especially truck drivers. Who have an elevated advantage point and they can see everything as they drive by now if you, you know usually they're just looking at cleavage now you're totally topless you don't want them to wreck especially if they're driving a fuel truck anyway North Carolina oh <laughs> school spelled wrong oh you silly Carolinians <sighs> What are we going to do with you, North Carolina? You're just so fucking stupid. Stereotype fucking rings true again. Spelling and education are important. Stay in school, kids. Whatever. It's spelled wrong. But, yeah, see, I bet you one jackass fucked up and was like, fuck it, it's my lunch break. I'm not fixing that shit. We're moving fucking on. And then some asshole memed it, and they found it. And that's, you know, that's the whole of North Carolina, guys. 
you know, not all that NASCAR money in there, not any industries or nothing. Nope, they can't even fucking spell school right for the school zone. Stay in school, kids. Just not a North Carolinian school. <sighs> North Dakota. Um. Oh, really? <laughs> Cal Hegelson, West Fargo Hockey Associate President. Hockey raffle to give out 200 guns. Ooh. Were they scary black guns that are semi-automatic? Oh. We just figured that in order to bring people in and get them interested in a sport where they shoot pucks at lightning speed, we should bribe them with the possibility of winning a weapon that shoots actual bullets at lightning speed. What could go wrong? Fuck off. I've talked about the gun debate today. I was on Ogre's stream earlier, and I was also on Man's streaming today. Well, it's yesterday now, by the time this video is going to go up. But... Just fuck off with that bullshit. I'm all for gun raffles, and I think that's all I need. And here we are with Ohio. Um, looks like a nice little funeral here. Uh, you know, Ohio. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know what really you could say. I mean, I don't know. It's fun to stay at the OHIO. It's fun to stay at the OHIO. Young man, there's no need to feel down. I said, young man, pick yourself off the ground. Oh, wait, sorry about that. May you rest in peace. I don't know. It was probably a celebration of life. They didn't want to be down and just have a crappy fucking funeral. I don't know, whatever. Maybe they are kind of weird in Ohio. Cleveland is in Ohio. Oklahoma. Look at that fucking invention. I say that's innovation right there. Innovation, sorry. An invention or innovation. Why just have tires when you can have barrels and kegs there on your bike? Probably because that's a disaster waiting to happen. I don't know. If that thing works, that thing could be a beast. I doubt you'll be jumping it anytime soon. It's probably heavy as fuck. But I bet you it'll get you to where you're going and you'll never have a flat tire. Here we are, Oregon. Yeah. Which of these things is not like the other? Which of these things just doesn't belong? Um, to be fair, a friend of mine that I won't name, a deer came on his property and was hurt and he nursed it back to health. And the fucking deer sleeps in his room on his fucking um, couch or whatever. So, yeah. This is accurate. I will say the picture they chose for Oregon is accurate. Not the one I would have chose. If you want a really funny picture, I can get you a picture in downtown Eugene with a dude wearing a pink tutu riding a bike, flipping off the bus system and yelling, fuck you, LTD. He does it every day, at least twice a day. It's like clockwork. I can get you that picture. That would be funnier than this, but this is semi-accurate. Pennsylvania, here you go, coffee. Uh, here's your Amish, um, future Amish wife, man. You want to move out of the big city? You want fresh milk and eggs? Here you go. Get yourself the roller skating Amish girl. It'll work just fine, man. And you won't have to worry about her being all flashy or wearing sexy clothes, going out to hang out with her friends at the bar without you. No, sir. No, sirree. She will be wearing that plain ass dress, those shitty fucking rollerblades, and for some reason they're drinking soda. Didn't think all much people drank soda. Anyway, just going blading to the store to pick up some pop for our Amish potluck tonight. Yeah, it's soda or soda pop. It's never just pop. Stop it. And second, I don't think Amish people drink Mountain Dew. Or 7-Up, whatever that is. I didn't even think they drank coffee, right? Rhode Island. <laughs> nice. Sure, they're known for sandy shores and seaside colonial towns, but they should also be commended for giving lobsters cutlery. 
so they stand a slight better chance of staying off the dinner plate and a butter bath. No, no, fuck off. This is what Nevada is worried about. This right here. They are training for when them and the Nazi penguins invade. This is a training exercise, and you should not make light of it. Nevada is right, and we need to get rid of these filthy lobsters and their knives. They are a danger. Matter of fact, I don't, I don't want to say for sure, but, you know, I may or may not be in contact with QAnon, and they may or may not have said that the lobsters are behind the stabbings in London. It may or may not be a fact. Don't quote me on it. But the lobsters and the penguins are making moves, folks. They're making fucking moves. And this picture is evidence. I'm telling you. It's coming soon, guys. Don't trust these fucking lobsters. <laughs> South Carolina. Lift it. Fat chicks can't jump. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right. Whatever happened to Southern Hospitality? Maybe it was swept away in the fumes from this vehicle that is obviously compensating for something. No, well, from the sound of it, yeah. He doesn't want his food bill to go up, yo. He wants to, you know, he's just, he's just looking out for himself, right? He's a bachelor, obviously, because he's looking for chicks, just not really fat ones that can't jump up there. Um... You know, and maybe he just doesn't want to take a girl out to dinner that can't get into the truck. Because maybe, perhaps, maybe, she might, you know, run up a fucking hundred dollar fucking tab at the restaurant and expect him to pay. Because, you know, that to toxic masculinity, masculinity, you know, that the society implies that men should pay for the date. So he's looking out. He's looking at his budget. He doesn't want to go overboard. He doesn't like buffets. I mean, so yeah, he decided, hey, I'm going to lift my truck. You know, I like lifted trucks. He probably goes mudding, you know, has fun in it. And, you know, bright spot, fat chicks can't jump in. Fucking A, all right. He, he was thinking. Multitasking with the vehicle. South Dakota. <laughs> Please not feed or disturb the prairie dogs. View from a distance. Um, all right, let's see what they say. To be fair, he doesn't appear to be disturbing to be disturbing the prairie dogs unless he ate it. That's a possibility. No, no it's not. Buffaloes don't eat meat or bison, whatever, whatever. Um so he didn't eat the prairie dog. But I do think, you know, he looks a little high-centered on there. Maybe maybe he was frustrated and uh, tried to, you know, do the dry the dry hump there on the sign and got stuck. Um, whoever took the picture, maybe you could walk over and try to do some bison tipping. I don't know how, if that works as well as it works for cows. You know, you might get jad with those horns since he was obviously already horny so he might be using them you know with more vigor than normal but at least he wasn't fucking with the prairie dogs it's all right tennessee back to the redneck jokes looky here here's the the fat boy militia yeah <sighs> proving that the people wearing camouflage are usually the first people that you see, whether you want to or not. It's like the Redneck Avengers or something. They literally just wrote that. It's like the Redneck Avengers or something. Cletus? Hey, Cletus. Let's go. Let's go uh, hunt down and lynch that, uh, that dare darky. No, dude. Fuck off. God damn it guys are assholes. This picture looks like it was probably from the fucking 80s. The motherfucker's wearing suspenders. Fuck wears those. Besides Larry fucking King and he's halfway in the grave. God damn it. Texas. 
All right. Well, I mean, you're using the car wash as a cow wash. Um, fucking a. Once again, another case of southern ingenuity and multitasking. You know, you pay to wash your trailer there, get all that cow shit up out, and then you spray the motherfucking cow down before you put them back in. And then you continue on wherever the fuck you're going. Makes sense to me. Everything's bigger in Texas, including the line to hose down your heifer. If you want an undercoat wax that's going to cost you extra... No one's waxing the fucking cow, but whatever. Utah. Oh, oh, it's a Mormon joke. That's original. Yes, there's more to Utah than alleged polygamy. But when you see cars driving around like this, apparently repo repopulating the state one randy man at a time, you know it's going to make the list. Oh, Catholics have a lot of children. Uh, Mormons do. There's other um, religious groups that have lots of children. And the main fact is they don't use birth control. They believe it's a violation of God's will on the creation of life. That's why they have a bunch of children. It's not because they have five wives. You do understand that polygamy is outlawed in Utah. Those cults that are um, the fundamentalist cults that have sprung up. Well, the main one, the Warren Jeffs or whatever his name was, he had moved to Texas. And they're not actually marrying the individual wives because that will land you in jail. They have one wife and four girlfriends. Not saying it's right. Just saying if they do it, that's the way they do. They don't get a legal license for the marriage. They just do their own stupid ceremony and call it good. But still, that's a minority. And if you're talking about Utah, I would have made a joke about fucking shitty beer or something. Because you can only get like 3.2% alcohol beer there. Unless you go to a liquor store. And that's insane to me. That's the joke I would have went. I would have went straight to polygamy and making a Mormon joke. I don't know. I, I just really feel like they keep going for the low-hanging fruit on every picture. And we have a Mad Dodge news report coming from you live from Stick Sexenhammer's backyard. Here you are. And there they are. They have invaded the pool. Styx is livid. He's about ready to use his Second Amendment right to protect his property to get these filthy animals out of his immaculate pool. He's really upset about this. And, you know, I hope he responds and tell, tells us all how it, you know, went down. Did he have to put the animals down? Did they willingly leave his property? Did he have to deport them back to the wilderness? I don't know. <laughs> I just think, you know, th yeah, this is out of Vermont. I just, I immediately thought of sticks his fucking backyard, like really. You know, he's always talking about his garden and shit. Like, could you imagine his gardens right there and fucking these assholes are in his fucking... I don't know why he'd have a fucking pool like that, but you know, just funny shit. Um, what'd they say here? Honey, did you go out and skim the pool today? I think I see something out there. Yeah, I think so. I would like to know how they got into that pool without popping it, though. Alright, good job. And there's the Confederate flag for the South. They saved it. They saved it for Virginia. Ah, at least they did that. And it's a Civil War reenactment photo. Personally, I like the picture. I'm not going to like their comment on said picture. Let's find out. Where Civil War reenactments aren't just a hobby, they're a way of life. What's wrong with that? You have... Pirate festivals, I've gone to one. You have uh, medieval festivals where they dress in full garb and they live like it's medieval times, even though, you know, they have those in the United States. You know, Renaissance fairs, medieval stuff with jousting and sword fighting. Even though we're not a European country, they still have those types of reenactments here in America. So why the fuck wouldn't they have a large following of Civil War reenactments. And believe it or not, 
you self-righteous pricks? The war means something to some people still today. Especially the people that lost the freedom of secession. Anyway, Washington, that dog stole my weed. I'm not for shooting dogs, but kill Dorothy's dog. Dorothy's dog stole the weed and is headed back to fucking Auntie Am's. Yes, Colorado might be known for the wacky tobacco. I thought it was the hippie lettuce. I don't know. Stick with your talking points. You can only have so many different buzzwords. You're going to lose the audience. <laughs> Take it from CNN. But don't forget about Washington. Anyone up for a brownie? Yeah. I'll take two. But that dog steals my fucking stash. It's a dead little motherfucker. West Virginia. Fuck. God damn it. Captain Coal Pile. Dude, is that your next door neighbor? Beer. Check. Phone. Check. Naked guy on the shitter with the farmer's tan on his legs. Unfortunately. Check and check. Seriously, um, Cap. Dude. I'm getting sick of their portrayal of the South. Every picture has been this type of bullshit. Come on. Isn't it getting ridiculous how they just grind this this image of the Southern people and the Southern culture as just white trash? That you, that the South, Southerners are so fucking redneck that they will fucking have their toilet on the porch and be out there drunk as fuck shitting in front of the whole neighborhood give me a fucking break <sighs> not saying they won't talk on the phone on the shitter but the shitter's in the house just saying Wisconsin my okay this little beauty will let you enjoy both Lake Michigan and Superior coastlines in the water and on land two bird one stone people no no I I would love to see the Jay Leno will it float test with this. I don't think it'll float. What say you guys? Tell me in the comments for the Wisconsin one. Will it float? Yay or nay? And here we are with the final state. Did we save the best for last? I don't know. But uh, those buffalo look pretty tasty. I would like to shoot one and have all that fucking 350 pounds of meat. But uh, yeah, here's Wyoming. Why did the buffalo cross the road? No clue. But I'm not getting out of my car to find out the answer. I got the answer. They're crossing the road because I'm hunting the motherfuckers. I'm right behind them in those woods. I already took one down and I'm looking for the rest. It's like the fucking Oregon Trail game around here, dude. You know, you just fucking shoot all them buffalo. You take, what, 300 pounds that you can carry, you leave the rest to rot in the fucking sun. That's right. You don't give a shit. You eat them buffalo, and you fucking shoot 20 for every one you eat. Because why? Because America. Because we're making buffalo great again, people. That's it. Wyoming will be great again. On the back of the buffalo. No. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, I can see that shit happening in Wyoming. And, uh... Yeah, it's been a long one, guys. If you stuck around all the way to the end, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, As we wrap up, the Red Eye stream is on my backup channel, Red Eye Live. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, guys. Get over there. Watch it. Share it with your friends. Help me out that way. As I said at the beginning, um, I do have a Patreon, and I'm trying to raise money for RAM for the PC. So it's for the channel. If you can and are willing to help, please make a donation to my PayPal or Patreon. I'm trying to get more perks on Patreon. I only have two Patreons so far, and they're both people that I stream with and do videos with. So, you know, I haven't been as active on Patreon as I should be, and I'm going to try and fix that in the next week and put a Patreon-only video up. So... You know, donate a dollar a month, two dollars a month, whatever you can, if you can. And I will be putting up Patreon only videos starting next week. Um, I am going to try and work on a compilation of the Red Eye since we hit the Red Eye um, stream number 100. 
um, earlier in the week. So there's that in the works. I'm going to go through. I'm going to try and find uh, some classic MC and Cabbage yelling matches. You know, do a little bit of, um, of me and MC in the Civil War debates. You know, I don't know. Pick up some highlights and throw them out there. So that will be in the works. I think that's about it. Like and subscribe. Like I said, hit up my backup channel so you catch the red eye three times a week, sometimes on the weekends. And good night. And good fucking luck. Watch out if you're in Wyoming. Stolen from a distance. Wicked with the blade, but we look so innocent. Are you lost? Tried to rape a juggalette. Cause you thinking that we're soft. Put your fucking dick up in my mouth, I'll bite it off.